never wear my hair straight. <laughs> Feels weird. But what's up, y'all? Um, it's your girl T. My face looks like a hot mess right now. But I thought I'd come on here and just do. I think it's the light. Um, just do a little get ready with me for Sunday. I don't have anywhere to go today, but I kind of felt like doing some makeup. So let me fix that light. cord and then I didn't break a nail but <sighs> I grabbed onto the door frame and then slid them off the side so that hurt <sighs> give me a second okay Jesus, that was intense <laughs> for nothing, all for nothing. Uh, the lighting isn't even better, so lock on. My God, that hurt. Okay. I'm gonna do my makeup today. I said that already. Um, I was gonna do my hair, but I straightened it. I might honestly just keep it straight today. I like rarely ever wear it straight. I don't know, it's just kind of boring. But my makeup, so yesterday I did my makeup and I freaking loved it and then nobody saw it. So I was like, well, what a waste. So I'm gonna redo it today and film it for y'all so that at least somebody can enjoy it, right? Just grabbing all my goodies. Oh, I need to grab, I'll grab my eyelashes later because I'm not even gonna do lashes today. But um, I've kind of been switching it up with the makeup lately and putting on a little bit more than I used to and like doing a little bit more eye makeup, which I'm really loving. So what I start out with is a little bit of concealer on my eyelid. If I look over here, it's just because the mirror is also over here. Um, so I just kind of prep that for eyeshadow and stuff. This light is, I mean, this, uh, concealer is definitely too light, but uh, I just haven't gotten a different one yet. I really should before I leave on vacation. I haven't really told a lot of people where I'm going unless you like know me in real I look like a clown. I look like the stepsisters on Trek. But I haven't really told many people where I'm going unless you like know me in person. So it's kind of fun to just like show up there one day. Uh, so then I take this foundation stick, which I thought was a contour stick, but I've been using it as contour and it's been working fine. And I just go kind of like that. Like follow my eyelid and then swoop up a little bit with it. Wow, this is gonna look crazy. Then I take this brush right here. I don't even know what it is. I think it's an eyeshadow brush just from Shoppers. And kind of blend that in. I don't come all the way to the inside. But I just kind of blend that till it looks kind of like that. My voice cracked. For some reason, this eye never looks like this eye. Like, I can never get it to be the same shape, but. It's all good. And then I go in with eyeshadow from the Modern Renaissance Anastasia. I take Bra Sienna and Worn Taupe. I just take two little plops in there and just kind of go over this outer corner again. like that just kind of work it over top of what we just did 
Then I take Cypress Umber, it's this really dark chocolatey brown, and I'm gonna take it. And I learned that if you come straight down with your brush just on your lash line, that's where I kinda like to put this guy. I don't know why, cause you really can't see it too much, but, oh, except for when you do that. Um, but yeah, it just darkens that corner just slightly. This looks crazy in this uh, camera right now. Then I take just another little brush and with this like gold shimmery shade, I'm just gonna plop that like right in the center on my eyelid, but like kind of cut, like a little baby cut crease, but nothing like, I'm not going in there with all the colors and all of that. So it kind of looks like that at the end. And then I'll just take, <coughs> excuse me, the brush that I did with the uh, lighter browns and just kind of like, boop, just blend the line a little bit. That's kind of it for eyeshadow. That took what, two minutes, not even. Then I go in with the Maybelline uh, gel liner. I did watch a video one time and the girl said that she prefers gel liner over liquid just because it's a little bit more forgiving and with it being matte you can't see like little imperfections so I'm like heck yeah and then I just kind of go I should have zoomed you guys in a little bit more I'm just gonna use the me here but I just put that right from like where my pupil, not my pupil, my the color of my eye, kind of there, and then work its way out. I don't even know if you can really tell. Um, but that's kind of what I've been doing. And then I take it and I'm going to do a wing. So, oh my God, this is so dirty. Sorry. So I kind of just like go to where I want the end to be. I'm not a professional by any means of this. So some days it looks great and other days I end up wiping it off, so. So that's kind of it. Oh, this one's real flippy today. Lovely. And then I'll just go in and kind of darken it up a little bit more. And make sure that um, the base of the wing matches and blends into the other liner. I guess it should be like now we'll talk about something when I do my other part of the makeup. So again, just try and match them up as best as I can. So that's kind of what the eye makeup looks like. I don't do my mascara until after the rest of my face, just because in case I make, I don't know why I do that. I think it's in case, no, but I don't really know why I do that. But that's just kind of what I do, so. Then let's move on to, you know what I forgot to do? Sometimes I have these like, this one little, I don't even know if it's a pimple or a mole. I have a little bit of breakout. So usually when I do do my eye concealer, I'll like, and throw a little bit of this on there too just in those certain spots um, so for foundation i've been using the infallible l'oreal sorry that was maybelline <coughs> l'oreal infallible up to 24 hours i use the color 465 i don't know what any of it means it's honestly not my favorite like color wise but 
to the color sand and I usually use like one pump and then sometimes I have to go back and add a little bit more but depending on like the coverage of my face so um I am gonna do a brush just for right around my eyes so that I can get nice and close to the eyeshadow and the liner and stuff without totally destroying it so The only thing I don't like about that concealer, well, I mean, other than it being too light, is it's, like, too much of a contrast. So sometimes I'll come in and just, like, rub a little bit of my foundation over my eyebrow just to kind of blend that out a bit. But But once I have like just right around my eyes done, then I go to Beauty Blender, which is destroyed by my nails, and I'll do the rest of my face. I don't really have any like updates for y'all on my life. Um, I wish I did. I booked a trip for next, this, the second. Um, I'm gone for like 36 hours <laughs> just to see a concert. But when you're young, I was gonna say when in Rome. I wish I was going to Rome. Not for 36 hours though. So, one pump is really all it took today. Um, I don't really need anything more coveragey. So. Hooray for us. <coughs> After I do that, sometimes I like to just like come with my powder brush and just like boop, boop, boop. Then I take that foundation stick again, which is right in front of me. And I come into my, let's say eyebrows, forehead, two, three dots and then a line. And then I do under my chin the whole way, under my lip. And then I don't, I still haven't figured out nose contour. I'm just like not good at it. So I kind of put a little bit of concealer right down the tip of, right down the, what is that called? The front of it, the bridge of it. And on my little tip there. And then I'm going to take a tinier brush and put a little bit of the dark on it and just draw a little line. There, and then come under my nose on the sides of the tip. And round it out round it out so that's kind of where I put the contour and highlight um, I'm not super I don't know I don't really add anything else sometimes if I'm feeling like it I will add a little bit actually if I'm trying to recreate yesterday's makeup I should probably do it the same so I did add um, a little bit under here A little bit under the wing and then I did add some on my forehead yesterday but it didn't do shit so I'm not gonna add it today um, and then I go in with the same blender just because this one is so light and I just blend out the highlight
Okay, so once that's blended out, I take this brush right here and I'm gonna do the blending. I should do my nose. This is the same brush that I used for my, when I did the eyeshadow part. Uh, but yeah, then I just take this and we're just gonna like work this around the face. I kind of do the forehead parts first. And then come down to the cheeks. And sometimes if it's like too harsh, like I'll just come and like blend it out a bit with the leftovers on the sponge. I look psycho. I promise it doesn't look like this when it's done. Now we're just gonna blend out the chin and the neck. I think it's crazy to think that when I was a teenager, like him, putting stuff on your chin and your neck was like unheard of. So we just all walked around with just like looking like crazy people. Honestly. So once that's all kind of like roughly blended, it looks a lot more harsh on the camera than it does in my mirror. So I'm struggling slightly. But after that's all blended out, I take this liquid uh, blush from NYX. It's in the color Baby Doll. And I just put two dots cheeks look at this beauty blender and just pat it in i was never really a blush girl up until like a month ago probably and now i kind of love it it just really like makes you look sweet then i take my just old powder bronzer powder and i just like kind of Put that right in the cheeks and a little bit on the chin. I can see the moon still and it is 11 o'clock. And I take my Marcel powder and I just kind of cut those out a little bit more and add a little bit under my eyes where I put that concealer and then just a little strip down my nose and like right here on my forehead because I find I get a little bit greasy there but not like anything crazy. So while that's kind of sitting for a hot second, I will quickly do my eyebrows, which if you've been here before, you know that they're microbladed. So I'm not too picky on them. But I just basically brush them and darken the corners of it. It has been probably, I don't even know, three or four years since I got them done last, so they're doing pretty great. And then I just kind of brush that out to make it not look like it's so harsh. <clears throat> then I take that powder brush again and I'll just kind of wipe the powder away. And now we're going to do eyelashes. Let me go grab them. Okay, so now we're gonna do, um, what are these called, eyelashes. So I'm not gonna use, usually I would use like the CoverGirl Lash Blast, um, but it's waterproof and I don't really feel like trying to like take that off at the end of the night today. So we're gonna use the Telescopic Carbon Black. It's not waterproof, so it comes off at the end of the night. Um, and then a tip that I've seen a lot of people do, this one kind of looks a little grimy, but to save your eyeshadow, basically, you just throw this bad boy. I mean, get a business card, give them anything you want, a tag, and you're just going to put it right on your lash line. And then you can go ham on your eyelashes. And you can really, like, wiggle the product, and they're good. Oh, 
Oh, save your eyeshadow, but get it all over the nose. Saved it. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta recurl my eyelashes. I'll probably wait for a couple more weeks though. I like this trick even if I'm not wearing um like eyeshadow and stuff. Because I'm such a messy mascara applier. It's always everywhere. Or like I apply it and then I sneeze. Um, but yeah, so that's the mascara. And then what I've been loving lately are these little Ardell like single, <laughs> they look gross, single lashes. I guess I could just show you this. They're these ones and I put just two on each eye to add a little bit of volume to the corners. Um, without having like a full strip. I don't find that they bother my eyes either. Like full lash strips sometimes do. Um, let me just pick off some of this glue from yesterday. Those are stuck together. So I just use the Duo individual lash adhesive, the dark one. Um, put a little drop in the container. I probably should have shook that. That's okay. And then you just grab your tweezers and you just like pick up a little bit of glue. You'll know if it's too much or too little. Hopefully you've applied some form of eyelash before. And then you're gonna take your mirror and like position it down under your like eye line. It'll make it a lot easier. Figuring out how to hold these sometimes is the hardest part, but I'm just gonna go and go right in the edge here. And just lay that right on my lash so I don't know if you can tell the difference already or not or if it's all in my head but I like this look then I'm gonna grab the another one and I'm gonna try and put it kind of where I think right beside that would be Kind of just press them down. So see, it just adds like a little bit more drama to that outside eye, bringing it up a bit. Um, you can put mascara on afterwards, or you can kind of just leave it. I'll probably just leave it for today. I'm trying to get a good amount of use out of these lashes, so I don't want to gunk them up with mascara too much. And then we'll just do the other eye. This one has a little bit more glue on it. I'd like, but it's okay. It's so funny, I can't feel like I can never get the angle on this eye, but they always somehow turn out better. Maybe because it feels like it's an awkward angle, it's actually a better angle. I'm not too sure, but. Here, and we're just putting it like right beside the other one. They look a little cray cray. Um, and then you just kind of press them down a little bit, or I do at least. And that's like it for eyes. Um, yeah, these are like the greatest things ever. I'm not really into big strips, like, I have some, but. I was like really unfortunate to have like long natural lashes. So sometimes they just don't cover, like they don't, um, they're not long enough for me. So that's just a nice little option. Kind of just like really brings up my eyes and I have like really honestly tiny little squinty eyes. So Anything to make them look more baby doll, I'm here with. And then for lips, 
sometimes I go in and put like a nude liner under my eye. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go into that today. I mean, it doesn't really last, so I just don't really see the point. But for lips, I do have this like NYX. Um, it's this color sand beige. Sometimes I'll just throw like a little bit of this on just to like D. Add a little bit more color back in. But it's like so minimal. I'm not really a big like lip person. Unless we're talking shameless lip. I'm definitely a lip person. Um, and then I'll just like, I still have a dark spot from when I got my lips done, but that was in like June. This is just like a lip balm. I don't even know where it's from. I'll just kind of put that on top. Rub it out. And that's that's it. Sometimes if we're feeling first, not first feet, if we're, if we're feeling spicy, I will add like a little bit of this glow stuff to my nose, um, my cheeks, but I'll add a little bit to my nose today. Or a lot of it. But just kind of adds, I guess, that extra little shine. Um, I feel like there's a lot of products that people use every day, and I'm like, oh, I can never. But that one's just kind of a little fun one if you want. But that's kind of it. That's kind of the look. Uh, I'm not going to do my hair. I think I'm digging it straight today. So I'm going to leave it. But that's kind of it. That's my, it seems like a lot, but every day makeup. <laughs> Depending on the day, if I'm feeling kind of like lazy, I won't go like as crazy with the eyes or like I'll only do a little bit of eyeshadow instead of like the stick before. Uh, and then most days I don't wear eyelashes. That's really just like a weekend thing or if I'm feeling like fresh and flirty and fun. So that's kind of it. I'm really loving the look lately. So I hope you guys are too. And sorry, this wasn't really like super chit chatty. I broke the charging thing to my computer when I fell. My fingers still hurt, but they're all still intact. So I'm gonna go eat a caramel apple and uh, figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of my day. So thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.